With all that's going on in the news lately, you may be looking for a way to take a mental break, get out of the house, and find some fu something fun to do this weekend. Well, downtown Salt Lake may be the place you want to be. Starting this weekend, the city's bringing back open streets. All summer long, the city closes off part of Main Street to cars and then expands outdoor dining, brings in live music, and makes downtown a fun, lively place to be. So joining us to explain what you can expect is Jessica Thiesing here with the Downtown Alliance and Peter Mikowski with the city's Department of Economic Development. Guys, thanks for being with us today. Of course, thank you for thanks having for us. Having. Fun to be talking about Open Streets here again. It's a really fun event and we're really excited that so, it's coming back. If people who have not been down there, at least last year, the year before, what can they expect if they go down to open streets? They can expect a vibrant downtown Main Street mm -hmm. full of people, um, artisan performers, patios, restaurants, um, merchants are participating. So it's a good time. So and you can walk the Main Street. You can actually use Main Street to walk, which is fabulous. Yeah, you definitely get out of the house a little bit and you ex spread your wings a little when you go downtown. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, how big is that for business, Peter? You know, it's been incredibly successful for the businesses down there. Um, you know, we, we, we birthed this event uh, to help out those businesses. Birthed the event? Yes. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big undertaking. It really it is. It really I was, yes. Uh, Nine months at least. Yeah. Well, at least well, long, longer Much than more, that. more, actually. Uh -huh. But uh, it, it was uh, really constructed to help them out uh, during the pandemic. And um, it's been, as I said, wildly successful. I think each business reported uh, about a 19% increase in sales from 2019. So it's prior to prior to the pandemic. Yeah. So it's been uh, from, you know, from a financial standpoint for the businesses, it's been, you know, incredibly successful. But um, I think uh, the vibrancy that Jessica mentioned, bringing people downtown in the street, um, you know, uh, on, on these patios on the sidewalk uh, with artists and entertainers uh, all up and down the street, it's just been uh, very popular with the businesses down there. Yeah, it's something about being able to eat in the middle of the road that just kind of makes <laughs> it feel more fun, right? Well, you're not eating in the middle of the road. You're eating on the patio, but you're right. using the road exactly. as that promenade, and it is really fun. It's a different experience, a different way to experience downtown. Now, is there anything different you're doing with it this year? We're actually keeping it very much the same. Um, if it, it ain't broke, don't fix it kind well, of thing? Well, I mean, exactly. We're, we are having uh, additional performers, so there'll be more performances that are happening all weekend. More businesses, which is mm -hmm. a, a, a great thing. We've had businesses open. Um, new Who else businesses, is on that list? Um, I don't know. Speak list. Anyway, um, our our businesses. Pago is new. Okay. The Ruin is new. So there's a few new businesses that you'll experience downtown. It's just it'll be a great time. And so if people want to go, they want to check it out. Uh, give them a sense for where they need to be. Um, you can just park at one of the parking garages or take tracks, even better. Um, public transit is a great way to get downtown. And then just meander. So the event, the, the street is actually closed at 400 South all the way to South Temple on both um, northbound segments. And you can just meander up and down the street and see what you find. And so Main Street is obviously the place to be. It's open streets, but that's the main corridor right there. And a big thing boost for business. Are you expecting more this year here, Peter? Absolutely. And of course, if you want to find out where to go, what it's all about, go online. We'll have a link there on our website, abc4.com slash GMU. Talking here with Jessica here with the Downtown Alliance and Peter with the city's Department of Economic Development. Guys, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks, Brian.